Hey guys, this is Brian Jones from Bohal Academy, and I'm here with Neil Adams, the eighth Don, uh, multiple Olympian, multiple Olympic medalists, world medalists, Olympic uh, European champion. Britain competed everywhere, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to get some, um, going to have a little interview with him and uh, get his thoughts on some some ideas about uh, jiu-jitsu and judo and the interaction uh, between the two arts and what. Um, uh, jiu-jitsu players can get from uh, judo. So, uh, well, I, I think it's not just um, what, what uh, judo players can get from judo, but what judo people can get from the jiu-jitsu. And I think that what's happened is that um, it's like any sport, when, when you have people that specialize, uh, it, it, the levels go up. And I think that's what's happened with the jiu-jitsu. Certainly, the level of the niwas, the groundwork, as far as balance is concerned, and as far as um, the moves and the intensity and the um, the technical development of the moves, it's been in, it's so incredible that um, you know it's it's almost gone to another another plane, you know, uh, and certainly on a different planet. But I think that, that what's happened because of that, I think that the the tattoo was the standing part of it's probably gone down a little bit. Uh, it hasn't developed at the same level. And I think that uh, any of the judo, uh, jiu-jitsu guys, sorry, that I uh, come across that come to me for help, they want their standing work to be, you know, to be brought up to, to, to a reasonable level. And uh, for me, uh, my judo was all about having uh, a good level with uh, groundwork and a good level with standing. And I tried to get the balance, you know, as much as I could. And uh, I think that at the moment, probably from a jiu-jitsu perspective, you've got a, a total imbalance. And I think as well, on the judo mat, we've got an imbalance as well because the, the Newaza skills are not, not so great. You know, one or two really good specialists at the transition in, uh, but uh, not, not so many, not as many as we would like. So for me, it's very, very important from a judo perspective that we bring the, the, the Newaza levels up. And uh, so, you know, from, a ju uh, from the jiu-jitsu, uh, we, we can learn from that, you know. And I don't, I'm not just talking about rolling for five minutes or six minutes into to submission. We have different rules. So a lot of our rules, you know, it, it's a lot shorter. We've got a 20, 20 second or 30 second window where we've got to go in. So it's slightly different. So I think that uh, we, we can, uh, from the balance perspective, certainly improve our Niwaza and our groundwork. And I think that the, the, um, certainly jiu-jitsu people can learn from the uh, level of balance from a, you know, from a tachiwaza, from a throwing perspective. Definitely. Um, I know it, you can score points in jiu-jitsu from throws as well. So yeah. a lot of these matches are just determined on two points. So yeah. you get the takedown going into Well, that. exactly. I mean, so you imagine if, if the standing was so much better and... Uh, there was a good uh, level, of, of course, of, of Niwaza, the, you know, in prevention, in defense, as well as attack. It would make it so much, you know, so much better for, for you know, because it has to start from standing. It does. You know, we don't start on the ground, you know, it we does. start from standing. So, and it is different. If you've got um, a, a, a better level of judoka or a better level of a, a thrower, when they throw, the transition's different. You know, so it's different to somebody who just doesn't quite know what, how uh, or the balance lines and how to get somebody down in the right way in, you know, for the moves that they want. So I think it would, it would also help with the transition for, for the jiu-jitsu. I think we need to work together, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, and, and try yeah, and, and bring both of the levels of what's missing back up. Do you, do you get um, a lot of people that want to cross-train that from jiu-jitsu? I know jiu-jitsu has uh, been more popular, I guess, in the United States than it has been in Europe and recently, and it's starting to go over there. Do you have some people that are cross-training? There's a lot more cross-training yeah. going on I here. I think there's a lot more cross-training. I, I love it. You know, I love the cross-training. I, I think... Um, when it first started, the Graces, you know, of course, came in, and they, you know, for the um, uh, UFC thing, uh, fighting, it was a lot of the groundwork was winning. You know, now, of course, a lot of the strikers are are, are high level uh, strikers. You know, so a lot of the grapplers. Uh, I saw a match not long ago, and the grappler couldn't get into any situation. You know, the striker was just keeping his distance. So I think that this cross training is amazing, and I think that, that martial arts in general. You know, creates such a good atmosphere. A lot of the good martial artists are very humble, very, um, you know, um, uh, all they want to do really is to learn how to become a, a, a better overall fighter, you know, and I think that's a great thing.
That's, I totally agree. Um, you mentioned something yesterday about uh, mixed martial arts and the transition and working with some mixed martial artists. And I know that it, judo's sort of come into uh, the forefront now with uh, some popular fighters, like especially Ronda Rousey yeah. uh, coming in and making judo more popular in the mixed martial arts community. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Well, you know, I, I think that you, you have certain characters that, that, that come in and they, they'll accentuate certain parts of the martial arts you know and then it kind of goes uh, we get television coverage and we get good coverage and um, and the media like to see it you know those people win and uh, I think Ronda Rousey's been great for judo you know she's been great for us uh, but there, there's one you know Ronda uh, learned uh, we, she knows the arm lock um, better than any of the ladies that she's fought that's obvious you know they haven't learned the defenses to it and they don't know when she's going to attack with it she has good transition from standing down to ground and so, you know, but, you know, the other girls, of course, as their level comes up and they, you know, they start to improve their, their groundwork skills, you know, it will become more difficult for her. But her striking, you know, she's improved a million percent with her striking as well, you know, so she's becoming a better overall fighter. So we need characters like Ronda Rousey. We need them, you know, we need her. And uh, we need her really uh, for, for martial arts purposes because the martial arts, you know, people have a misconception. People outside the martial arts sometimes have a misconception. You know, a uh, majority of uh, martial artists, great martial artists that I've ever met have been great people, very humble, and, um, and are doing it for the right reasons. You know, there's only a handful, I think, that are doing it for the wrong reasons. All right, well, uh, let's wrap up the interview. I appreciate it. Uh, Thank you very Adam. much Thank indeed. You. Yeah, uh, he just did a seminar, uh, and, um, and I highly recommend you bring him for his seminar. I'm going gonna, gonna to talk about your, your – um, he's, he's got a new training program. I'm going to put the contact information up for that, so you can check out his website. Fantastic, yep. Uh, I mean, you want to plug that? Uh, um, certainly, um, if you go to uh, naeffectivefighting.com, uh, go onto our website and have a look. Uh, um, you can go into different aspects of, of the website uh, for coaching purposes, for judo purposes, and for uh, very specific uh, groundwork and very specific throwing um, sequences and techniques. So, um, yeah, there's so much there. Different training aids as well to help in that process. Uh, go on to naeffectivefighting.com and um, uh, any problems there, come through them and uh, we'll try and help you as best we can. Outstanding. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.